Welcome to this week's OK at Work with myself, Sarah Sawyer, my colleague, Russell Berger, both attorneys at Offit Kerman. And today we are talking about a uh, recent court ruling that has impacted a rule that we talked about on OK at Work um, you know, earlier this year, where the Department of Labor had a final rule where it was increasing the uh, salary thresholds. Um, for the overtime laws. And so um, that that happened, that rule went into effect over the summer, July 1st, and is now no more. So Russell, what, what do people need to know about this? Yeah, so, so I mean, we're talking about the rule that uh, goes with many exemptions to the overtime rule. So again, baseline, everyone has to be paid time and a half for overtime, unless you're exempt. Uh, a number of the exemptions commonly grouped together as the white collar exemptions have a salary basis, a salary minimum that goes along with them. So under the salary, uh, under these exemptions, the white collar exemptions, you have to have uh, both a satisfied job duties, which means you're doing sophisticated enough work that you qualify to be exempt and that you get paid a minimum salary uh, sufficient enough to be exempt. And what the court decided is that the increases to the salary basis that went into effect previously in July um, and with another jump coming in January and then, you know, every three years thereafter, because it was indexed, um, the, the net effect of that, of that salary change is to make the test salary only and read out the job duties part of the test. So basically what the court concluded was the salary test is so high that, um, you know, we don't get to this other part of the test. So therefore, the salary, the salary rule implemented by the Department of Labor is overreaching, unlawful, and um, will no longer be into a, in effect, and the future changes cannot go into effect. So the net result of all that is currently the rule is where we started you know, back in June, the rule that went into effect in 2019, which was the salary basis of $684 per week, which works out to like a little bit over 35, you know, between 35 and 36,000 a year uh, on an annual basis. So that's was the salary basis test before today. That's the salary basis test now um, from July 1 to you know last week when the rule changed, the salary basis was different, um, but that's been wiped out as unlawful. So uh, we're kind of back where we started. Yeah. And and it's a it's tough because a lot of employers did make changes to their their employees salaries to comply with the new rule. And at this point. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't see a lot of employers necessarily wanting to go backwards on that and have a lot of very unhappy employees. And, um, you know, a lot of we talked about this on OK at Work is that a lot of employers were preparing to do salary increases that would accommodate both what went into effect July 1st, but then knowing that it was going up again on on January 1st. So before this got overturned, the um the increase was going from 35,000 and some change up to 43,000, almost 44. And then in January, it was going to be close to 60,000. So about $50,656. So there are a lot of employers I know were like anticipating that January one increase and just went ahead and increased people's um, salaries just to accommodate, not so that they didn't have to do it twice. So now we've got, you know, the, the rule ended up having an impact, um, even though it's been overturned, because I think it's going to be really challenging for employers to try to wind that back at this point um, and retain employees. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, once you make a salary change, it's really hard to walk that back near impossible, uh, at least to walk it back effectively. Now, that might change how you hire going forward. That might change some some other things. But I think once you make a salary change, it's, it's a really tough thing to to alter, um, which is why with these rules, it's always best to wait until like the last minute to, to make any changes. Uh, you know, a, another point, too, is that this is not static. It, you know, we're not we're not done. Um, the Department of Labor can appeal this, although kind of with the with the change in administration in the White House, um, you know, it, any appeal that gets filed now might be withdrawn, uh, you know, come the end of January. So we don't know what's going to happen. And, and you know, the, the only precedent we really have is that this happened before in 2016 in Obama era uh, increase to the salary basis was um, was rejected by the courts. And then the, the Trump administration came in and uh, did increase the salary basis, but didn't increase it nearly as much as the uh, 
uh, Obama DOL had. Um, so, you know, that, that's a possibility here as well. Um, one may wonder why the Biden administration didn't do this four years ago and wait until the end of their uh, term to, to raise this issue when, when you know, someone else is going to have the decision as to where this goes next. But, um, you know, from a business owner standpoint, keep monitoring it, keep an eye on it. But, you know, we're kind of reverting to the uh, pre-July status quo. Yeah. Well, thanks, Russell. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Sarah.